Alright, good evening. A victim of a contactless card theft in Hamilton is warning others about the risk associated with the pin-free payment system. Police are still on the hunt for the offender and say the incident is part of a growing number of this type of theft across the district. It's convenient for consumers, but it seems contactless or tap-and-go cards are also making life easier for thieves. A 25-year-old Australian detainee deported to New Zealand has been arrested for burglary. The man was picked up in Hamilton at lunchtime today. Police say he had gone into a home but fled when the alarm went off. He was then tracked down by dog handlers. A day of wild weather has kept emergency services busy across the South Island. On the East Coast, fire crews battled hot and dry conditions to try to contain several fires, while on the West Coast, torrential rain and strong winds brought down trees and power lines. Helicopters with monsoon buckets were in the air early this morning, working to contain the blaze, but just after 11am, winds started pushing 90 k per hour. And a decision was made to ground the aircraft for safety reasons. A court has rejected a legal bid from the families of two Pike River miners challenging the decision to drop charges against its former boss, Peter Whittle. The decision was released by the Wellington High Court this afternoon and comes just two weeks after families marked the fifth anniversary of the mine disaster that killed 29 men. Anna Osborne, who lost her husband in the tragedy, and Sonia Rockhouse, who lost her son, sought the ju judicial review against Mr Whittle. One of the world's largest private collections of trucks and classic cars is set to go on show in Invercargill. Previously one of the city's best kept secrets, the impressive transport collection of Southlander Bill Richardson, is now ready for the fast lane. The late Mr Richardson began collecting trucks in 1967 and we go straight to the weather and it's another hot hot day. Watching and please subscribe.